All right, my name is Chris Campbell. I'm a practicing CPA, and I work with small businesses and individuals to help them pay the least amount of taxes possible while keeping them out of jail. So today I wanted to talk about the Workman's Compensation Insurance Audit. Because recently, and this has happened with a few clients, but it just recently popped up, a number of clients get surprised with an audit and a bill from your Workman's Comp Insurance Company asking for additional premiums. And it's happened to me personally a few times. It's happened to uh, some clients uh, of mine as well, where you're minding your business and then your Workman's Comp insurance company comes along and they say, we want to perform an audit. And usually they do this at the end of, of every year because you renew your policy every year, but at the end of every year, they do an audit. They want to go through your payroll. So you send them your payroll, your payroll register. They want to see your payroll tax returns. I think they like to see a P&L as well. But the main things are the uh, payroll tax returns and your payroll registers from your payroll company because your insurance premium is a percentage of your total payroll. So when you're quoted and pay your premium from your insurance company, they do it based upon the projection of wages that you'll be paying over the course of the year. So they wanna make sure that you're on point with what you projected that you said you would pay. And if you wind up paying out more in wages than what you told them, then you wind up paying more. If it's less, then you actually may wind up getting a refund of uh, your bills. What tends to happen, especially with growing businesses, your, your business grows, you're in the midst of things, you're working, you're just growing your business. You're not thinking about as you bring on more people, oh, let me make sure I tell my work with comp company. You're just bringing on people, business is growing, things are great. And uh, then you realize you blew through that number that you told the insurance company that you were paying out. So you get a surprise bill and depending upon how much you grew, it can be pretty hefty. So the lesson learned here is, A, as you're growing and as you're bringing on people, keep that in the back of your mind with your insurance company, that as you add more people and increase your payroll, if you don't make the adjustment on the workman's comp insurance side, you're gonna get hit with a pretty hefty bill at the end of the year. Now, there's another way around this. Some insurance companies offer a pay-as-you-go plan where instead of paying a lump sum premium up front, you can pay the premium as you go. The previous experiences that I've had, I was able to utilize the pay-as-you-go and after every payroll period, I would report what my wages were to, uh, to my insurance company and I paid my premium every two weeks because I paid the pay. Uh, it was a way to eliminate a lot of surprises from order time because I would still get audited, but the variance was never really that great because I paid as I went and as my payroll increased, I paid additional uh, premiums and then vice versa as it I went down. So I was pretty much in line with what the audits came in. So when audit time came, uh, there wasn't that much of a surprise. So that could be a good way around it if you find yourself in situations where you're constantly getting hit with this huge surprise premiums. So you either want to be conscious of your growth um, with the insurance company or look to move to a pay-as-you-go uh, model. So that's all for now on this subject. If you have any uh, questions about this subject or any other tax accounting business-related questions, feel free to reach out. I'm happy to help. That's all for now. I'll see you in the next one.